Gaijin Entertainment has some more news for you, and this one swept under the radar because it was published on IGN Poland, didn't gather as much traction. However, thanks to a content creator on the content creator Discord, we managed to actually sort of look at this one and realize that there is more in store than what we first realized. Because some of these things don't necessarily get out to the public too often, it's interesting to see articles written about War Thunder, and thus IGN Poland, uh, by article by Matsu, published on the 29th of March 2022, established that there were uh, development plans that we did not foresee. The article primarily talks about the new update, which has been out for about a week now, update winds of change, and all of its additions. It also talks about how they acquire content and where they get the historical information from, as well as a whole host of other things. There is a couple of interesting points which we'll go through here in a second, but it's important to note that this originally being in Polish, the translation might be a bit off. So again, we'll have to wait and see, which is why everything is put in air quotes. Anyhow, let's take a look at the article. Essentially, how was the creation of new machines and locations, right? And it goes down, they go down through the typical planning and process of how they make War Thunder look and obviously they're doing engine upgrades and performance upgrades and how they add more vehicles and the scale of innovation and, and how many vehicles they add to each tech tree and game features and the question that IGN posed towards the War Thunder developer was what was your biggest challenge in the final year of War Thunder's development? Now, obviously, it's talking a bit about the pandemic. I don't know whether it's a translation issue, but if this is the 10th year of anniversary of War Thunder, then its final year of development, it'd be an interesting one at that. The article then talks about how they added a lot of vehicles, and they talk about how the fact that the, the game is almost 10 years old. Obviously, they switched to 4K textures recently, and they talked about some of the map changes, as well as the different play styles, and the, the way that you'd actually sort of play a new vehicles with you know new technologies, such as hard active protection systems for modern vehicles. It's not until the second page where we get the juicy information. Obviously, they talk about, you know, working closely with ex-pilots and ex-military operators, where they talk about actually having a re reliance and a relationship with the Japanese self-defense forces in order to get some interesting uh, outcomes. However, we already know that, as therefore EJ is already in game, but... This year, we'll celebrate the 10th anniversary of War Thunder. A huge update is coming to the game in March. Again, that we already know about that one. And on the other hand, the November update, which is usually coincides with the game's anniversary, will also be quite big in 2022. But that's not all. At the end of the article, it says, do you have any long-term plans for War Thunder? What can you share to our readers? Immediately after Israel, a new nation will appear in War Thunder. It will be a country with quite interesting and original vehicles, especially ground vehicles. Could it be that we get Yugoslavia? Or is it a reference to the second uh, comment down here? Anything else you want to say to IGN Pulse Good readers? We know that Polish player base are asking for a separate Polish tech technology tree, and while we cannot confirm any specific plans, let's just say we're committed to finding a way to add all the important military vehicles that actually existed. As you can see, we've found a solution with South Africa and Israel, so there may be a solution for Poland too. So, with that news out of the way, that does indicate that there could be a Polish release, whether or not it will be a combined tech tree with another nation, or whether it will be its own independent nation like Israel, or whether it will be another separate branch or line to an existing nation, like for example the South African ground vehicles. Whilst it may not be a Commonwealth air tech tree, certainly a new aviation tech tree or ground tree would be utterly fantastic. And there are community designs out there for existing tech trees with a list of potential vehicles that big could be coming to a tech tree like this as made by this fan depiction made by epic blitzkrieg and a bunch of other people there are a couple of other comprehensive tech trees with slightly other varied vehicles as well in total poland could potentially have up to 50 unique aircraft although whether or not Guardian Entertainment utilize all of those variants is up to question. And obviously there is the other important whale in the room, whether or not they'll use existing Russian designs, as obviously Poland does utilize a lot of, well, Russian equipment. So what would a tech tree look like in that case? Well, it might just be a, well, an Eastern Bloc country, but I certainly hope that it is an independent like Israel, or if nothing else, certainly would look like a tech tree line as in the case of South Africa. So let me know what you think in the comments down below, whether or not you'd like to see an independent Polish tech tree. And if you want to see my actual April Fool's video, then I did so here. You might enjoy watching that one. All right, you've been updated. My name is Ash, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.